Hello, fat boy. Give me a second here. I, I'm as busy as a one arm paper hanger. Get this figured out here. Every time I think I've got this figured out, they change it. Okay, gotta go to live chat. Yes, we did, fat boy. Most certainly did. I just posted a couple pictures that Pamela bought. Uh, here's, here's one of them. Hello, John John. Uh... Let's see, where am I at here? Uh. <clears throat> okay, John, John, if you'd like to come up, sure like to see you. I've been lazy and haven't got on here. Yeah, I understand, fat boy. I, I just put a couple of videos up. I just put our pictures up from the Hatfield and McCoy dinner feud. It was a dinner and a show. Quite a deal. Yes, they still had the helicopter flights, but no, I did not get on them. Okay, Bobby McNutt. Oh no, you got to give me one finger. Okay, you better be it. You <laughs> give me one finger. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, wait a second here. Do we got audio now? I do, I think. Okay, yep, we're good. Okay. So, did you get my pictures on your No, email? I didn't. I didn't. I was looking for that. And I was going to message you back. I, I didn't get them. Well, they're on the... Uh, they're, they're on a video coming up. Well, okay. We went to the winery. 
and this is from the apple barn it's apple Whoa. strawberry wine <coughs> cool it is, it is a sweet wine and it's good as you can see yep it must be good you only got a little bit left <laughs> little, little dab <laughs> Oh, yeah. Squeeze that. <laughs> yeah, milk it out. So, how have you been? Oh, not bad. I, I, I can't join you with drinking. I'm going back out hunting again this afternoon. Oh, what are you hunting? Anything I can kill. <laughs> deer. Not deer. It's deer season. Cheers to you. Cheers. <laughs> I, ain't got, I ain't even got a coffee cup. That's okay. You know you know the gist of it. Oh yeah. Oh. But we went to the apple barn there in Sevierville. And I sampled her wine and I got three of the best ones that I thought. Mm -hmm. And uh they got a muscadel, muscadel, muscadine. muscadine wine. It's very sweet. I'm saving it for last. Yeah. I hear that muscadine wine is really good. It is. And I made the mistake in years past. I'd buy some, you know, and I'd save them. Uh-uh, you can't do that. They go bad. <laughs> they turn yeah. the vintage, but they don't turn bad in that day. But if you keep them three or four years, they're more of a vinegar. Yeah. Yeah, Stray, I got this. I got this weight loss program for for Big Steve for next year. I'm going to take him hunting with me, and no, I'm not going to shoot him. I'm not going to shoot at him or nothing like that. But this weight loss program will be, I'll send him down in the canyons, you know, to spook up the deer down there and get them jumped out of their bed running. And with him going down in them canyons, well, he'll have to lose a lot of weight to get back on out. <laughs> you know what I said? That's me. Tie him up to the truck. Don't get over 30, though. Yeah. I said that if he lost this so much weight had a timeline to lose a certain amount of weight, then he could come. That was his No, insanity. I'm not going to be, but I'm not putting no situation like that up. I would. You tell you really work on him. Everybody's <laughs> carrying him. But, 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 you know, I mean, if he had to go out there down in a canyon and forage for his own food, you, you know that guy would lose, lose the weight fast. <laughs> I think that would work. Everybody's you know, seriously, I could lose weight if I really wanted to. I mean, I, I don't want to get any bigger, but, you know. Well, here's the deal with why I'm picking on Steve. He's young still. And the longer you pack that weight, the harder your heart's working, the more it's going to shorten your yeah. life. Yeah. And he, I, and I'm he realizing can... that now. There's Bobby. Yeah. That one. Hello, Bobby. You just have to live chat there. Hey, Bobby, how's it going? Is it I'm not is that is that guy is that the guy that's been trolling me that's been trying to take my name? <laughs> that gets the other way around, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Did you fire me? Get me on band there, Bobby. <laughs> and by the way, Bobby, it was you that banned me. Because I, I know who banned it because I went back, I was switching back and forth on my Grizzly channel so I could see who was banning. And that's how I was making all the titles and telling people who was doing what. <laughs> and yes, it was you that banned me. <laughs> so, air bottles. Hello, Tim's World. <laughs> Mm 
so is that the real Bobby McNutt, his second channel? The, the Bobby McNutt one? That's that's really him, yes. Okay. Yeah, matter of fact, I was logged in on my Evil Roy Slade name and I hadn't had a subscribe to you that with that name. And so I didn't get to notice that you were live. He, he said you was going live, and I said, okay, I'm out of here. Enjoy. <clears throat> oh, so you got a channel with this name? Well, I'm not making no videos with this name. I let's see here. I'll I'll tell you, I'll tell you a bunch of my names that I have. Um, let's see here. I'm not going to tell you all of them, but these are a bunch of channel names that I made last night on, on, uh, on Bobby's channel when, when they were kept on different people were, were, uh, blocking me and stuff. I, I have Stephanie. Why are you blocking me? That was directed at Stephanie Pooch. And this is all in fun. I'm not, I'm not, you know, <laughs> You know, uh, and then I have the Al 440, and I don't make any videos with that one either. Uh, uh, Sherry K, you too, because she blocked me. <laughs> um, Steve blocked me, so I, I I brought back the name. Uh, uh, well, my first name I went on in there because it was Steve's birthday party. I, I I made a name Big Steve, age twelve, IQ nine. And then I, he blocked me on that. So uh, I, I came back with the name Bend, Bend Over, Steve Grin and Barrett. <laughs> uh, then Bobby protect, bo blocked that one, and I came up with the screen name of Bobby Stop Protecting Steve. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I just, I just went on. I made several names like that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> But it was all in fun, and I don't, I don't care if he'd never unlock and take those names all on out or not. You know, it was just fun doing. I'm, I'm probably going to delete most of those names. Hello, Robert. Good afternoon. Uh, I don't know what happened to uh, John. John. I put a link in there. I took it away though. At you know, if somebody else wants to come up, I'll put it back. Yeah, Bobby's or Stray says he's gonna get me get me on that 440 for a copyright infringement. <laughs> Troll 440. Sex, you don't even use that name anymore. I'm gonna have to get rid of that one. Well, we went to the dinner show. Let's see if I can put this. And uh, there's a picture of me and Pam. They do the green screen. Can cool. you see it? Am I holding it right? Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Pam got guy, the never action. That guy is real. He. I asked him, I said, can you stand with us? Sure, if you want me to. <laughs> cool. Let's see. Now, how do I get that back? What, what is he doing? There. There. Uh, the picture. He was out of the country at an old cartoon barn. <laughs> cartoon? It was a restaurant that they went to, type of. Yeah, it's a dinner show. You uh, you have tables set there, and uh, they have an elevator, and we was able to go up an elevator, so Pam didn't have to walk all the stairs, and me too, of course. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now we got a Bobby raid going. Hey, you know what? I'm going to start timing these people on out. Wait, I don't have my wrench on with this name. <laughs> Oh yeah, we can't have it going, baby. You know, God, baby, you know. Hey, uh, welcome he, everyone. He, welcome, welcome. These people banned me. Um, 
Let's check this one out. You can't. I mean, ban anyone. You can if you got a red. No, but if they, you have a red, you can go in on another name. There's no way to get rid of them. Okay. So you don't need to. I grab you a cigarette. Oh, no. no. <laughs> yeah, it was all they were banning me. Well, actually, at first, at first they didn't know what was going on, and then some of them started figuring it out. <laughs> I got to be careful with that stuff when, you, when you're doing that. You know, and you go back in the ranch, you, you got to try not to comment underneath the ranch and let people know. Or, or or unban somebody because then everybody knows that you're there. Then they start figuring out who you really are. <laughs> Hello, pecan baby. Uh, Trisha plus five TV. Hello to you. I did support you. Thank you for coming in. <coughs> Uh, I don't know who Cosma. Yeah, I think that's not good. Yeah, he can go. Thank you, fat boy. Stay on top of him. I don't know. He kind of flooded the channel. <laughs> well, <laughs> the, uh, the new laptop did okay, but the uh, internet would fall out there. As long as I had a good internet connection, it, it rolled. But you know, Bob, doing it cheap, he talks about doing it cheap. Well, if you want to do it cheap, don't go to Pigeon Forge. There's no doing it cheap. Yeah. And I tried and tried to call him on the way down. And uh, I commented on his channel and told him that. Uh, okay. <laughs> I told him I tried to call you and he had changed his number. So I didn't get, get to call him. And hook up with him when he's down there. That's a bummer. Yeah, fat fat boy, you have permission. If that happens, do just like you did. Yeah, that's, 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 that's anybody with a wrench on in here. I don't have a wrench right now, but you guys, you, you know that. The, you get the follow overs from, from Bobby because they, they sent him on over here. And, you know, they, they think that they can just run ranch. I just don't even question it. Just as soon as you see something like that happening, just instantly ban them. Yeah. I thank you very much, Fat Boy. Fat Boy took care of it for me because I get to talking and I, I don't watch you chat like I should. Yeah. But uh, anyhow, They've got the moonshine pickles now. And I tried them. What did you think of them? Do I? What did you think of the moonshine pickles? It didn't take on the moonshine taste. A dinner? I didn't think so. You didn't care for them? Well, they're just pickles. I mean, you know. Yeah. And they're, they're not really dill, you know. But we went one night, and uh, I, I asked them, nope, we're all sold out. Everybody's sold out everywhere. Okay, so Pam said, I'd, I'd like to go back and set. It's not as cold tonight as it was last night. Okay, so went in there, and there was pickles. 
I said, well, they said they were sold out. I said, we just got them. Had a whole rack of them. <clears throat> cool. I, I don't know if I'd want to buy a jar, but I sure if there was a jar around, I sure wouldn't mind trying one. Yeah, that's what I did. 30 bucks for a jar of pickles. Ouch. Yeah, that's too much. <laughs> well, I think so, but that's about what the moonshine is, you know. Yeah. Well, see, now I don't mind. I wouldn't mind paying the 30 bucks for the moonshine, you know. I mean, but yeah. I don't get 30 bucks for something that I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. I want to sample it first before before I spend that money. <laughs> they're, they're okay, Chris, but they're not, to me, they're not worth it because I don't eat pickles. When I get a sandwich at Hardee's, I tell them to leave the pickles off, but there's a sour. Yeah. Well, I love pickles. No, Robert, I didn't. I haven't tried those pickles. If if, that, if that's what you're referring to, the buzz. No, well, he's I, asking me. I haven't tried it. He's asking me, and I only had just a couple of little pieces. They have this little, say, like a convenient glass that they give you samples of the moonshine and stuff. And when I walked up there, she said, "I'm, I'm giving these people a taste test, and I'll be a while." I said, well, all I want to try is in pickles. I said, if you'll let me try them, I'll leave you alone. But then I turned around and was had the camera on there. She said, are you taking my picture? I said, if I can. Yeah. Yeah. I said, you want to be on YouTube? Oh, yeah, I'd love to. I said, give me a spiel. <laughs> so, you can't hear it very well, or I can't. But anyhow, that's. That's one that I'm going to put up tomorrow. And it's got cool. pictures of the uh, the moonshine rack. They had uh, uh, butter pecan. They had maple nut. And they had whiskey. They had it uh, salted caramel whiskey. Mm-hmm. I... I think all of them would be good. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't do a whole lot of tasting because, you know, I I still had to drive, and I didn't want to get ripped. And I tell you what, you make me want to give up on hunting this evening and and go start drinking now. <laughs> no, don't do that. No, no. See, I'm. I don't, you know, I don't mind drinking. A, I don't mind drinking. I mean, a drink. I don't like messing with firearms and drinking. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. A, oh, there's a, there's another drop in there. I saw a little color at the bottom. Oh, you think? Oh, hey, there is. There's a there's a little drop in there. There you go. <laughs> I'll cut out the minute man or middle man. I got what, this. I got this little. Uh, it's like a cork. <laughs> yeah. And isn't that a spill top though? That's a spill uh, piece, isn't it? A what? Oh uh, no, that's not okay. I was thought I thought that was one of those bigger things. That, there, like, man. Not, only so much. It's got kind of like rubber. And it's kind of old because the top piece is cracking. But you just put that in there and push this down, and it swells it out. Yeah. It'll still come out if you're not careful, but it, it keeps it keeps, keeps the air out of it. Yeah. Once I open it, I leave it in the fridge. Yeah. For a while, because I'll drink it. Well, that's one thing that I never did mess with a pistol only only used rifles and shotguns because I figured to get my finger to the trigger I can't turn it to me to shoot myself <laughs> yeah you can always get your foot though still <laughs> yeah but it won't kill you 
No, I just I, I just don't believe in uh in drinking and hunting. No. First, first of all, what no. I it's not even really so much a safety factor for me. The factor for me is with with you know hunting and and drinking is I'm not out there to go get drunk. I'm out there to hunt and enjoy the hunting experience, not the drinking experience. Right. I mean, but you'll get a ticket just like a DUI. Well, that's only if you get caught. I, I, I wouldn't get caught at it. I mean, I'm not worried about that part of it. It's just that the reality is I'm there to hunt, and I'm ta- I take it very serious when I'm out there. Yeah. Hunting. yeah. You, know, uh, you know, I don't need something... Uh, putting my mind to sleep and not being attentive to where the deer are at and being quiet and, you know, sneaking around. Cause I don't sit, I don't sit in the stand. I, I get out and hunt. I mean, it's, I get too bored sitting in a stand or in a blind. I like to hunt in stock. That's right, Bobby. They did come home and drink. <laughs> Hello, junk man. <coughs> yeah, I'm a supporter of yours. <coughs> He's got a video, Grizz, of a Big bull elk, North Carolina mountains. Cool. Now, I've seen some uh, this last week. I've seen where a couple of five points are hauled on out. There you uh, go. The one. Do you have elk? That one. Thank you. <laughs> Grizz, do you have elk? Yeah, we have elk here. I don't hunt elk anymore, though. Okay. But yeah, we we have them here. I I seen a big old seven point in my driveway several years ago, but I only seen elk on my property once. I heard them up on the hillside once too several years ago, but we have them in the neighborhood. They just hardly r- rarely come on my property. Wow, that video I just looked at the end of it. He put his horns down toward a uh, car. <coughs> Let's see. Junk man, thank you for coming in. I looked at your video of the elk. Very good. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, I figure if it's just me hunting out by myself, they're too much work to, to pack on out anymore. I couldn't handle it no more. Oh, they're a lot bigger? Oh, a lot bigger. Okay. They're a lot bigger. It, it take, Last time I got one, it took me four, uh, four trips to pack them out. Wow. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's got to be a telemarketer. Hello? Good. (laughs) Oh, Bobby. go say anything else no disconnected (laughs) i'll have to store that number was that bobby calling you well i'm not for sure it says kim five i will murder you (laughs) it wasn't his voice well, wait a second. Now, this is kind of suspicious. How did he get your phone number? 
Oh, well. By the way, Kim. Yes. Was that, if that was your address that he was posting, that guy is noted for calling the sheriff or calling calling the cops and telling them that you're murdering your wife or this and that. And they send SWAT, SWAT on out heavy. So if, if he has your address, be expecting it. Who's this? Just a second here. That's, that's, that, that's Dave here. Just a second. I'll be right back. Anyway, I'm back here. That, that's Dave here, Kim. He came up to bum a cigarette from me. Oh, Dave not here, man. Dave's not here, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Should I call the police? Well, you might call the police. The guy that's in your room now. <laughs> Your home number, yeah. I'll give them notice and say, Hey, number of the YouTube channels have been swatted. It's the same number. Uh, if you don't know the number, don't answer it, just block it. Okay, thank you, fat boy. Just a second here, Kim. Uh, in private chat, I want to send you a private message. Ah. Oh. Okay. Well, she did some flipping stuff. Okay. Yeah. So. So. Did he have my address? Huh? Well, yeah, he, he put my address in. He there. might have got it up by your name. Yeah. Well, he flooded it with that address. What the crap? Yeah. Oh, there's a troll in here, Pam. And they called again? Yeah, they called twice. I didn't answer it the second time. I did. You did? Yeah. What did it say? Be prepared for a disturbance at your front door today, Kim Fife, you faggot. Huh. <laughs> Is that what they said to you? Yeah. Go <laughs> go look up the police. It's 911. I, I would call the police and notify <laughs> them and tell, tell them. What? Uh, you don't have to say that you're pressing charges unless you want to, but but I mean I would notify the police so if they get a call for your address, you know that. Uh, okay, well let me mute this. I will. You know. Yeah, I don't know why he likes wasting taxpayers' money. I mean, it's probably because he'll never be a taxpayer. Probably one of those type of people that just mooches out the system.
That. Oh, I haven't done that. <laughs> yeah. Throw most of the green inside underneath too for them. That way it doesn't get rained on. That's right, Robert. Oh, he can't find a girlfriend, so this is his, uh, this is the way he takes things out on life. To make him feel like he's a bigger man than he is. Isn't that something? Yeah. And I had Noble. Well, it was from Noble, Illinois. Yeah, Noble, Illinois. Okay, Grant, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, caller ID deal. That address that is given, I don't think he's got one of those programs that hides it. What's the saying to you? Hey, JT. JT Farmer, how are you, buddy? By the way, Kim, <laughs> he, he will, that's the guy that will also come on up and start playing porn on your channel, too, on your live stream. Okay. And, and he'll use somebody else's name. All right. You know, uh, Bobby, are you still on here? Grizz? Yeah, I'm still Hello. here. Is there anybody out there? <laughs> I'm still here. Can, Grizz? can you hear me? Oh. 
I had it turned down. <laughs> Good Lord. Well, when I was on the phone, I, I wanted to turn this down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fat boy, I had turned the speaker down. I thought that muting it would, unmuting it would come back. But okay, we're back. <laughs> Grandpa's Adventure. Hello. <coughs> Okay, so I got that taken care of, hopefully. <coughs> Darwin Digital. <coughs> Pretty cool stuff. I don't know if them's games or. I know, JT. Um, on what's going on right now, I'd like to have you up here, but I don't want to post a link for a while. Have you taken the lake down from up above already? Yes. Okay. A long time before I got that phone call. Hello, Bobby. Uh, I did what you told me to. She was really nice. Well, you heard about Tim's uh, Rick's channel getting hit, didn't it? Yeah. No. I was on a live stream with him and Cherry, and uh, they came on out and, and hit him hard. I mean, they I won't get into details on it, but they, they hit him hard. With porn? No, I'm talking about the cops showing on up. I mean, he, there was like 35, he said like 30 or 35 cops can come on out. Well, I told him, I said, before you send a whole bunch of people here, call me. Yeah. I told him, I said, you can come talk to me. I don't have a problem. Yeah, they hit, they hit uh, Rick Hart. They've been hitting, they hit Bobby. They hit uh, Big Steve. They hit him on my live stream. Um, and then after he got off the live stream, you know, well, actually, when they when they was on a live stream, they called on up. And he thought he had everything settled. About two after two hours after the live stream, they actually showed up with, with uh, assault rifles at his door, he said. Big Steve? Yeah. Oh, my God. I hope he had his pants on. <laughs> no kidding. <coughs> well, Bobby, he met the cops at the door with a gun, and he still didn't get shot. Well, I don't have any guns, so. <laughs> yep, they've been called. <laughs> And the lady, she said, I told her, I said, I'm sorry to bother you with something stupid like this. But, oh, she said, no, that's what I'm here for. And she said, I'll let them know. Hello, Ian. How are you? Maybe I got it right this time. <laughs> Yeah, that, that uh, nomadic fanatic, you know who I'm talking about? Yes, sir. I watch he, him all the time. He, he released the video. They caught him. that guy. I haven't heard how much prison time, that, but the guy's going to prison over his deal. Hey, Brad. And Ian. Hello, Brad. 
What did they do to Nomadic, Eric? Uh, there was a lot of harassing uh, and uh, um, notifying people where he was at so people could go out and harass him wherever his location was. But th that guy's going that that guy's going to ha end up with prison time, is what they're telling him. He he released a video on it. Uh, I may have your email, JT. I still posted the link. I still post mine in the room, you know, but I just watch make them show their face. But he gets pretty deceptive, too. I mean, <laughs> I mean. He's, he's pretty tricky. I, I, I'm actually really impressed with his talents on that part of it. I brought Bobby McNutt. He came up as Bobby McNutt, and then he showed a video of Bobby McNutt, and at the same time I told him to show me one finger or whatever, he went and scratched his nose at that same time. You know, so I call that's got to be him, so I brought him up, and then all of a sudden the sports started playing. <laughs> i seen that. I was on your channel when you did it. Yeah. Oh, here we go, another phone call again. Okay. Hello? Yes. Okay. Okay. Are they at the back door? Okay, just a minute. Okay, just a minute. Okay. Yeah. Along the road? Yeah. I'm just sweating such an ointment.
Okay, sorry guys. I'll be back with you here in a minute. I got okay. Let's get, get this number. The cap they said that there was right? they they did there was, Yes. Two <laughs> cops. They they got a report that there was a hostage situation here. <laughs> okay. I'll be back. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, they are, Steve. By the way, if y'all starting a, a channel, don't use your name. See, everybody that's using the uh, that, that's getting nailed has used their their name one way or the other on their channel, and then that person can. It can get a pretty good idea where you're at, get your address and everything. Yeah, yeah, we know it's not right, Brad, but it is what it is. YouTubers just need to learn to play smart. Uh, they got Grandpa's Adventures uh, information from Facebook. And. My chickens are all really, a bunch of them are really starting to molt real bad. They're starting to look ugly from all this molting. They're looking sickly. <laughs> Wrong time of year for them to, to start molting. I would think they'd need all their feathers. <laughs> Well, Tim, I have a feeling that they will catch the guy. It's just a matter of when. And uh, I'm sure that he'll uh, he'll get some mental help. JT, there's a guy that's been going around to all the YouTube channels that, that live stream. And he finds out where they live at, their phone numbers, and he calls them on up, says he's going to kill them. And then he calls the cops and, and, you know, and reports that they're either murdering their wife or their kids or whatever, throw, throw out all sorts of stuff. And, uh, and then the cops go swarming. For the most part, we're able to notify the people ahead of time to make sure that they call the cops beforehand. So the cops don't come swarming on out. But like in Rick's case, he told the cops, but it had been about a month. And then a month later is when they swarmed his place and they had forgot that that was going on. Yeah, yeah, Bobby. You know what? I could go into some pretty graphic detail. You know, if you take a, if you take a dildo, and I uh, you put a bunch of fish hooks, feed a bunch of fish hooks in it, all going one way, and then you insert that so it can go in, but it can't come on out, and then you feed a mat. I think that would take care of it. I'll be right back. I got to go get my cord so I can plug this thing in. Oh. 
In a second, folks. I can come on out here by the hour with my laptop and sit and watch videos. But as soon as I get on StreamYard, man, it eats this battery up really fast. There we go. Yeah, I am a sick man, aren't I? <laughs> and proud of it, Steve. And proud of it. <laughs> Hey, Gene, how's it going? See, what we need to do is we got to, we need to make sure that like uh, the law enforcement in Ken's neck of the woods is making contact with with where Gene's at, where Rick at, and, you know, I mean, all these ones that are getting hit, where Steve's at, all of these ones that are getting hit, we can pretty much show that it's all the same guy. And uh, I think they all need to work together on this. Yeah, I mean, I, I think if they all call Bobby's uh, ideal because he he's working hard on it. You know, get get all the get all the law enforcement all working together on it, and I think things would go quicker on getting the guy. Yep, it will be Skeeter. By the way, how's it going, Skeeter? Except for I think I think the person that's doing it's a kid, but he doesn't realize he can still be a, tried as an adult. Well, maybe if you weren't pissing in your shoes, Steve. <clears throat> oh, I'm sure they'll get a lot of attention that way, Tim. <laughs> He'll get all the loving that he's been missing out on. I 
I'm I'm sure that he'll find a big boy in in prison that will just want to hold him and cuddle him. <laughs> and take care of him. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bobby, you forget where he lives at. In his neck of the woods, that's all acceptable. Did Richard Pryor get some loving in prison? Ah, Steve. Steve, 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 Steve. And you wonder why people come down hard on you. <laughs> And then it's always their fault. <laughs> Although things must be really serious. Yeah, you are who you are, and then you have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> oh, you can put me on block, Steve. You, you know how to do that. You're a big boy. You're in control of your destiny. If you don't like what I'm saying, just click that block button. <laughs> oh, he's probably showing them the phone calls and stuff. Oh man, Tim, isn't that going to be awesome when he gets that mini bike? That is going to make a cool video of him riding that mini bike around. Let's see here. What did you say, Brad? I'll scroll back on up here. <laughs> That's right, Brad. <laughs> Except for in prison, they don't call them trails. They have sweeter names than that for them. <laughs> like Love Child. This year, what what are you and what are you in serving twenty five years in prison for? Oh, I made prank prank phone calls. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Your split personality is coming out today, Steve. <laughs> oh, poor Bobby, or er, poor Stevie. You need some love, Steve.
Bobby, I think you just need to give Big Steve a hug, make him feel wanted. Oh, straight. When he sits on that mini bike, his butt cheeks will swallow the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not out loud, Brad. <laughs> Pulled by Ezra the Mule. <laughs> I think that keto diet that he's on is giving him a nervous breakdown. Now, Robert, I think he already has a Snickers. <laughs> I ain't going to say no more on that, though. Yeah, he does have some anger issues. Oh, yeah, Tootsie Roll. <laughs> Steve, you can't hide your emotions with us. You wear your you wear your emotions right out there on your sleeve. <laughs> Four months worth of candles. Oh, got that right. <laughs> Hello, Richardo.
Hey, you got a point there, Bobby. <laughs> okay, people, I'm back. Have I got everything turned on? Yep. Yep, you're here. Do we have another person in here? Uh, there might be somebody down below. I don't know. <laughs> be careful if you bring anybody up, though. I'm not going to tonight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's quite the deal, Chris. By the way, that person just said, check that out on out. I don't know if you know that guy or not. Nope. I didn't know him. I'll check out his channel. Um, I have supported to him, but he's only got two su subscribers. One of them's mine. So what, what happened? Uh, they just took all the information down. I knew the cop. So he, he wrote, wrote down this number and he wanted to know, well, why did you put your number up? I didn't. But you can get it. Now, um, you, you need to uh, contact your, your police station again. And give them uh, Bobby's police station number. And so maybe they can put two and two together. And there's a few other channels, other cops uh, involved in it too. You know, cop stations. And I think the more, the more cop stations that are involved, I think the more likely they'll, they'll get to head on this thing. Well, I showed him the video where Bobby was taken down by the SWAT team. Uh-huh. Of course, it was just a video. He heard him holler, get down, and all that, you know. And he's looked at me. I said, now that's just the video. <laughs> yeah, see, right there, you might take that information and turn that over to them if they want to pursue it in the report. Okay. Let me get this copied. Oh, here we go. Same number. It's my number. Oh. Well, that can't be. Hello. Well, the number said Kim Five. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Now the best thing to do at this point of the game for everybody, for everybody, the best thing to, to, to make it quit on this live stream is Kim. If you turn your ringer off or if Smith Pan answers it, hangs up, but either way, don't acknowledge it on the live stream anymore. Don't, don't acknowledge that he exists. If something pops on up, just block in the chat. Don't anybody acknowledge that that comment ever existed. Just completely, well, from here on out, we're going to ignore that any of this even happened, and he'll go away. Okay. <coughs> so anyway, so what's the rest of your day like, Kim? <laughs> well, it's been pretty interesting. <laughs> So you got any more of those bottles to show me? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, of, of course, we could talk about Steve's uh, nervous breakdown that he's having again in here. Oh, my God. 
Okay. <laughs> you got to do it where you can turn off the ringer there. Yeah, just take it off the hook. There you go. <laughs> but it's it's saying my number, my name and my number. Yeah. And I'm sure he's listening to the live chat. Uh, Tim, I gave up my landline just a few years ago. Yeah. There. Now. <laughs> well, I might want to use it later to call cops. You, you couldn't have thrown nothing through the wall, Steve. Okay, so he took a picture of the uh, chat. I went back to where they was putting my uh, address in there. Yeah. And the cop took a picture of it. Cool. Well, Dar Darwin uh, Digital, this is exact my number and my name that they're calling me from. <laughs> the call is coming in from the house. Okay. <laughs> you think it's a haunting? Oh, my God. Now, I've got to uh, take this down to see. Search. All right. There's a notepad. All right. I think you need to take Big Steve's wrench and let Stray have his way with him. <laughs> okay. So I got, I got that uh, printed out and saved. Hello, Mark One. Hey, Mr. Mark. <laughs> oh, man, that's going to be golden one. So when we see that video of Steve on the mini bike. Yes. I mean, I mean, I can just visualize that. Uh, JT, for right now, buddy, let's let's hold it. Not not today. <laughs> we got too much activity going on right now for today. I will have you up.
Oh. Man, if it gets much colder, it could snow. It's supposed to, some point in time. Oh, it's it's uh, it feels colder than it is. It's actually uh looks like it's about 45. It would have to drop quite a bit. Let's see. Did you change emails on me? Yes, you did. Okay, JT, I'm going to store that email. If I can <coughs> get this figured out. But that guy, he just couldn't figure out. He said, you're doing a YouTube live right now? Yes. And he was all paranoid. He said, well, I don't want to be on the camera. That's okay. Yeah, I don't blame him. Okay, JT, I have stored your email address for a later deal, a later time. Now, how far are you away from Idaho Hillbilly, Robert? And how, how far away are you from Nampa? My, my brother lives in Nampa. And then he was standing here reading the chat where Big Steve and Bobby McNutt was bickering back and forth. He said, who's he calling an asshole? <laughs> they do that all the time. I said, that don't have nothing to do with what I've got going on. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of wondering about that stuff going on. You know, with the, I didn't know if the cop was going to be in there reading it. You know, see, I'm like... And, you know, is, is this really the time to be cutting up that way? <laughs> exactly. But then again, I had to prod it a little bit, though, myself. Oh, yeah. Not you, but, Chris. But I was I was maintaining it. I was going to say a bunch more, but I thought not with the cops. Huh? Are you going today? Yeah, I'm going to hear about another hour or so. I feel those go in the freezer. No, keep on, keep on brewing them. Okay, I will in a minute. Okay. Got the fire going again. Yeah, because it'll, it'll take several hours for those to cook down. I know, I know. Yeah, Big Steve, he was reading your comments, you and Bobby. And then he was confused who you was, Grizz, because you got Bobby McNutt here. <laughs> I I just put that name on there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Hey, I would have given him my real name in the private chat on down there if he had wanted it. Well, I told him your real name. Yeah, you you already knew all my all my contact information anyway. Yeah, well, I didn't give him phone number or anything, but. By the way, uh, here, Kim, in, in private chat, the number that you have is going to be turned off on the twenty eighth. Okay. And uh, uh, well, give me your good phone number. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay, but any number that you know, uh, this number that I'm sending you, um, anybody that calls it, you know, uh, between now and the 28th, I'm bl automatically blocking because I'm getting swamped. It would be this is a new number, so I'm slowly getting it sent on down, so I'm not getting. All these harassing calls. I don't okay. even. I don't even use that phone yet. I won't start using it till the twenty eighth. But I'm just using it to block everything that's that's calling constantly on it. So don't, okay. don't use it until the twenty eighth. All right. I'll write it down on this message. Okay. Yeah. Don't let anybody up on the panel because they'll be able to see that then. <laughs> Well, I can delete it, can I? I don't know. Can you? It'd be good if you could. Well, have you put it in there? Oh, okay. On the private, yeah, on the private I did. Okay. I'll get, to, get that rope down. 
I'll see if I can delete it just in case somebody can come back and get it. Yeah, Bob, doing it cheap, Bob, he changed his number. So when I was calling, I couldn't get through to him. So I, I commented on one of his videos and he said, you don't have my new phone number. So now I got it. And he said, don't let nobody have it. Okay. Uh, hey, would you mind taking Steve Lynch away? I want to, I mean, he doesn't need to be putting my real name on out there. That, that ain't cool, Steve. <laughs> well, I guess I can't. Uh... <laughs> Dirty Harry. I'm Heinz 57 variety, Tim. <laughs> Okay, there's another one. I can't check out their their channel quick enough. No, I think that one's okay. That pipe or pipe artist is okay. He can always reverse it. Uh, I never bothered it. I just looked at the channel. Yes, it's been a while since you popped in. Great to see you back, pipe uh, artist. We've we've had a disturbance here, so we're all running scared, kind of, sort of. <laughs> Hi, Anna. Anna, I'm crazy. Hello. Now, now, Anna, I'm crazy as a real troll. She's one of uh, Bobby McNutt's biggest trolls. And I mean, I mean, uh, in, in a good way, you know, I mean, I'm saying that in a good way. <laughs> okay, this grasshopper, do you know him? Uh, um, don't recall him my hand. Okay. It's he been taken care of. Okay, dirty hair is crazy, but he's okay. No, I'm not robbing no banks, big. Or a uh, mock? Wow. <laughs> now, anybody that calls Steve a troll, I'd have to say he's a good guy. Yeah. Big Steve's a good guy. No, anybody that calls Steve a troll is a good guy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that Big Steve's a dick. <laughs> and then he then, then when some people call him on his shit, then he starts whining and crying and, and, and has a temper tantrum. <laughs> and he makes videos about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, Dave. <laughs> I can't call myself a cowboy. Uh -uh, I ain't that tough. Well, I'll tell you what. I sure am glad you guys were smart enough to tell me to call. Because the cops got a report 
that there was a hostage situation here. Yeah, that could have turned out bad. So the cop called and said, there's a police officer at your front door that would like to speak to you. Tell him I'll be right there. Wow. Uh, well, I'm sure if he could get the information on me where I was at. Uh, Stray, fat boy, if Dirty Harry's okay and you want to unblock him, go right ahead. Sure. That's up to you. If he's he's okay, that's fine with me. I don't know if I blocked him. Okay. Uh, fat boy blocked him. Okay. So that you can unblock him. You ain't man enough to do that, Steve. <laughs> but he don't have any uh, subscribers. I got lots of people that aren't subscribed, that, that, that don't have subscribers and stuff on my channel that come to my live streams and stuff. So I, I don't. I don't go by that myself. Okay. But then again, I don't block anybody on my channel. Well, I think it was kind of necessary today. Yeah, yeah, it was necessary today. But the thing is, all they do is they, they just create another name and come on back. Yep, I think that's what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, I know, Bobby, but when the cops show up. Uh... That's right, Mark. Some of my best subs are the ones that don't have any content. They're there, they're there to watch my videos and, and that only. They're not there to try to pick up other subs and pretending like they watch your videos. <laughs> There. Uh, Stray, you didn't have to do that. Why did you time out Scuzz Twitty? That 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 was that was Big Steve, you know. Yeah, I if if it gets out. Hey Ann. Hey Ann. You've missed the uh the show. Dude. I've, I've had the police here. We had a troll to call the police and say there was a hostage situation here. Are you still there, man? Or did you run away? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you missed all the excitement, Anna. Somebody tried to get the cops to raid his house.
Hello, Rosanna. Hi, you, Rosanna. Oh, Gene Chambers in here? <laughs> yeah, he was here earlier. There he is. Hello, Gene. At least I'll get a bunch of views on this channel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, it wasn't near as exciting as when Rick got swatted, though. Oh, I don't want no excitement like that. <laughs> oh, man, you ain't just a come a cow farting either. So did you see him come in on him? No, he was on his front porch in the swing, but no, we never did see the cops. But I, I got to tell you the whole juicy gossip behind the whole deal, okay? It was quite hilarious. But, I mean, it, it could have turned out a whole lot worse than it was in the situation because when the cops showed on up, he, he had that dog and he was barking. The dog was going after the cops, and he thought he was going to shoot his dog, and he was able to call them back, but anyway, he was and he was yelling, "Don't wake up my wife! My wife's in the house sleeping." Well, apparently, and you know, she comes on out and she's all pissed off. She gets on camera and she makes it sound like she's been there for the last two months. So everybody's like, "What the fuck, Rick?" You know, uh, you know, she's she's been here for two months and you haven't been telling anybody and stuff while well, she was only taking a nap for a few hours and then she was heading back home you know but so there was that whole twisted deal there you know and stuff i mean it got really so there was a whole lot of people that were hating on rick and really came down hard on him on that shit yeah it all it all smoothed on over for the, the next day but wow she got on camera and she, oh, oh, I heard her off, off camera. I heard her in the camera. She's saying, take him away so I can have this place to myself and this and that. You could tell she was being a very vindictive type of person. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. I mean, it was. Did she cause this? Huh? Did she cause the cops to come? No, it wasn't her that called the cops. It was the same guy that called the cops on you. Okay. He's everybody. So was this this Noodles? No, it's not Noodles. It's another guy. Oh. But he's the one that posted my address. I think that Noodles guy, I think I think that's uh there's a, I think the guy copies Noodles name. Oh, okay. Okay. And Noodles ain't no saint himself either. Okay, JT. I'm sorry, buddy. I will send you an email. Bring it on, Stray. <laughs> okay, just a minute. I'm not understanding, Gene. How are they addresses? Oh, how are they getting the addresses? Well, like in Kim's case, Kim's name is posted here, and, and, and Kim's let it out what state and city he's in. So that's not too tough to come up with. You can get it off of Facebook, and there's lots of different ways you can go about getting this stuff. Yeah, we know you love noodles, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like Gene, you used in your full name and letting people know where you're at. I mean, that that's uh you're putting yourself out there for the same thing if i was you i would change your channel name keep the name gene but i would change your last name
And if you want some help changing your channel name, um, give me an email, Gene, and asking for my phone number. I'll give you my phone number. Then I can walk you through it. If, if you need somebody to help you, go through with changing the name if you decide to go that route. But unfortunately, the damage is already done. People probably know who you are already are, but you haven't done much in the way of live streaming, so. He's mainly going after live streamers. <laughs> we know you do, Bobby. <laughs> That's right, Stray. You tell him. Oh, then somebody will will get an interesting call one of these days, Gene. <laughs> That'll be funny. Ah, okay, that's good, Gene. <laughs> that's right, Bobby. He's two time on you. <laughs> <clears throat> well don't know if that was the right one, Gene, but only you would know. But don't say yay or nay. You're on the ball, Stray. Good job. Hey, can somebody get a screenshot of that? Can somebody get a screenshot of that to uh, one of the wrenches so, so you can view the comment that's being there? And uh, 
maybe Gene might, if Gene could do it, I mean, that's something that if something happens, you'd have record of it being posted out there. Oh, this one isn't? I figured it was, but you know more on that stuff, Bobby. Oh, man. That's a bummer, Gene. But I wouldn't be posting anything more because that narrows it down for him. Yeah, don't let him narrow it down by anything that you that you put out there, Gene. Whether he's right, wrong, or otherwise, don't let him narrow it down. And that's a bummer, Dave. Thanks for the warning, Steve. I had heard about that guy. You know, I would think that they could nail the guy not only for for the terrorist activities and stuff. I mean, he could be he could be uh he could be arrested for assault with a deadly weapon. I mean, I would I would say that trying to pl uh, assault somebody with a police force, I would be I would say that that's assault with a deadly weapon, which is a big felony. Yeah, well, that means we have 10 minutes to convince uh, Kim Fye to take Steve Rich away.
Yeah, well, I think you get the he probably he probably plea bargained to manslaughter. Hi, Sandra. I'm going to have to watch that later there, Stray. I'm going to bring that on up. Because I had heard of it, but I mean, the guy probably plea bargained it to a manslaughter. He should have. He, he should have gotten an assault with a deadly weapon at least, and with an assault with intent to kill. Okay, I was on the phone with sister, filling her in. There's oh, okay. Sandra. How are you? Is that fat boy? Is Sandra fat boy? No, that's Sandra. Okay. Hi, Sandra. Yeah, I told that guy that uh, he said, Kim Piper will kill you. <laughs> it's, it's the midgy version of a fat boy. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> wow. Well, so hopefully he'll stop calling. Is this correct? I, you know, I, I don't know. Do you get calls when you're offline, uh, Bobby? I think he mainly just does it when people are alive. Okay. That's what he's making the call because he's seeking the attention. You know, he's, uh, somebody's, he's not getting attention at home or something. Okay. Oh, he calls out when you're offline too, but when you're not online, Bobby? All I can say, Kim, is if he keeps on harassing, about the only thing you can do is get an unlisted number and change it, and I know you'd hate to do that. Well, I get enough uh, telemarketers all the time. Um, Rosanna, I got a comment on my video from uh, Marie. Uh, Chaplin, if that's how you say it. Kaplinger, Kaplinger, I think. Yeah, it's okay. What Gris said. Said she was going to quit YouTube, but all, all kinds of stuff. Okay, click the link that you posted. All right, let me check it out. I seen it, but I didn't bother. All right.
Yeah, Rosanna, that's Sandra's troll channel that she uses, not her main one. <laughs> <laughs> Stay on for spite. <laughs> You're still on live stream? Yeah. That kid, it's an old video. It's been when I did find the thing, whichever it is. And he's singing Blue Moon. Okay. It's a little kid, and he's so good. Yeah. <laughs> and I was listening to him. Okay. Uh, fat boy, I looked at it. Oh, I don't think, Sandra, I did that was what, that one time, say that I thought I was going to quit YouTube. But I don't think I'll ever quit YouTube. I've come to the realization that I'm just going to do videos when I feel like it. And if I don't feel like doing a video for several months, I won't. <laughs> That's anyway. kind of the way I've been here lately. When, mm -hmm. I was, when I was down at Pigeon Forge, the internet wouldn't hang in there. And there was a lot of noise at the hotel. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I am going to start doing more live streams, you know, on, on my ALF channel. Well, you'll get that channel built up eventually. Yeah, I don't care if it builds up or not. I'll st I'm still gonna, I'm gonna try to do one live stream a week on my Grizz channel, and then a number of them throughout the week, you know, on the on the Alf channel. Whether it builds up or not, I don't care, and I don't care if I, uh, you know, I've always said that I'm I'm out to, I'm out to make my channel be a failure. So I, I could care less if it's less if it's a failure. I mean, to me, it's going to be all about fun or nothing at all. <laughs> if I can't, if it's not enjoyment to me, I ain't going to do it. If I'm having fun doing it, I'm going to do it. And that's all it's about, whether whether my channel grows or not. Now, granted, I do like seeing the thing my channel grow. I'm not, I'm not saying that. And I do like seeing the pennies come in onto the bank account. But, you know, I get enjoyment out of that. But the real enjoyment has to be whether I feel like making videos, editing them, uploading them and all the all the other bullshit that goes with it and you know if i don't feel it i ain't gonna do it yep but i will never shut it down friday we spent all day coming home so i couldn't do nothing then and then when we got home it was late late you know i'm saying five o'clock at night evening mm -hmm. whatever and i didn't feel like messing with anything i gotta step off camera here for a minute that sounds like a good idea <laughs> i'll join okay Okay. Stop talking behind my back there, Bobby. <laughs> Sorry, Sandra. <laughs> we promise not to do it again. <laughs> Mm 
Yeah, Dave, I do enjoy sitting in front of the fire and staying warm. I'm going to actually right now, if I had more wood put on up, which I needed to put up some more. If I had more wood put up, I'd be having a fire out here right now. But then again, I'd have to take off and leave it and go hunting this afternoon. Okay. I'm back. Almost hey, nine inches out. Hey, Chris. Yeah. You didn't flush that. Of course I didn't. <laughs> you know, the rain will wash it away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my heavens. Yeah, I'm just trying to, I like pissing on the blackberries over here, trying to kill them back. You, you won't kill them. Yeah, you know, does. you think it does? Oh, yeah. But it takes a few years. You have to just keep on loading up that soil with nitrogen, and then nitrogen will kill everything. And too much too, too much nitrogen, it, it will kill anything. And then after the nitrogen wears down, everything will come back greener than ever. But if you kill off the seeds that are there, you won't have the blackberries back. But no, it, it definitely won't get rid of the amount of IP over there. You know, it just keeps them kind of killed back a little bit. Well, the I have a place out here with that zoya grass. I think it helps it. Pissing on it? Yeah. It does. It, it does. If, if, but you got you got to piss on it continually. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, so a certain amount of nitrogen is it's thriving. It's, it's living off of it. It's too much nitrogen that kills it. And you got to piss a whole lot in order to get too much nitrogen. Well, Dave's backyard chicken hits mine. I can shake it as many times as I want to. <laughs> yeah, you can shake it, you can squeeze it, you can heat it on the wall, but it's got to go in your pants before the last drop will fall. <laughs> <laughs> but if you shake it more than three times, you're playing with it. <laughs> Well, like I said, it's mine. <laughs> oh, let's see if I got the phone back. I'd hate to miss a call from Trump. Get more oh, calls. God damn it. I knocked that off. Let's see what I hit. Um, Sandra, it's better to use wood chip, first of all. Think about it this way here, you know, with, with your soils. Um, think about it as food. The more you process food, you take a steak, you cut it up, it's healthy for you. You grind it on up into hamburger, well, it's been processed more. The more man handles it, it's not as quite as good for you. You grind it up even more to make it into sausage. The more you process something, each time you process it, you're losing something in it. And it's the same with wood chips and sawdust. Um, sawdust will work in the soil, but wood chips is a lot better. Uh, Sandra, that's what I knocked off was the swear jar. I got a jar here. I put my coins in or my loose change and I knocked it off behind my desk. The, the bottom line is, Sandra, it's organic material. And, and um, ultimately, you do, you do want more organic material in your garden. So sawdust isn't going to harm it. If it was nothing but sawdust, then that is going to eliminate a lot of the stuff that you can grow. It, potatoes would grow real good in it, you know. But, uh, I mean, a good, uh, you know, I like a good variety. I, I, put, I put wood chips in my garden. I put leaves in my garden. I put chicken manure in my garden. You know, it's... It's got to be a roundabout balance of, of, of uh, 
multiple things. Well, it probably needs other nutrients on in there and fertilizers and stuff. I mean, sawdust, the sawdust, uh, it does deplete the soil on a, in a lot of ways, but it it's fiber. It's a lot of fiber to the soil. But you what you want something? You want the leaves from the tree to add the nutrient nutrients on in there. You know, the the vegeta vegetation matter that way to to add to your soils. You want fertilizer to add into it. I mean, all sorts of stuff. So if you did nothing, if all they did was added a bunch of sawdust and didn't add any other added, you know, other stuff to it, then yeah, it's not going to do as well. Not unless he had really had really rich soil to begin with. But the thing is about here's a here's the reason why people want to put sawdust and wood chips and stuff in their soil. It gets a lot more vegetation on in it, and it makes it rototilling. If you have clay, like I got a massive amount of clay here. My my whole yard, everything I got here is hard clay. And so if you, you know, with the with the case of, of what I got is when the rain comes and stuff, it packs my soil something fierce, something hard. There's no organic material in there. So you add a bunch of sawdust or wood chips to the garden, you got organic material that, that keeps uh, the, the dirt from packing hard. So in the spring, when it's time to, you know, take your hoe up there. Well, I, I feel rototill. I'm, I'm not convinced against rototilling. But if a person doesn't want to rototill, you can go on up there when you mix dirt, uh, uh, sawdust in your dirt, you can break it up real easy for replanting. But you still need your other organic materials in there and your fertilizers and everything in the soil as well. So sawdust in, in itself is not not enough. It just makes the soil, soil a lot easier to work. So, Grizz, do you think you had a, a good garden this year or no? I had a, yeah, I had a pretty fair garden this year. I mean, I didn't go near the stuff that I normally do, the, you know, but I mean, like, I had a, I, I've never grown the hot peppers before here like this, you know, um, but my tomato harvest was really good. We got a lot of tomatoes. They weren't the full flavor that I like, like what I would grab from your seeds, you know, and, and get some tomatoes that really taste like tomatoes. They were a hybrid. Um, my squash did excellent. Uh, my cu cucumbers did pretty fair. I want to say exceptional, but they, they, my cucumbers did fair. My string beans did exceptional. My corn did really good. Uh, my, my snow peas, I wasn't impressed with them. I won't grow them next year. So, have you tried any seeds that I sent you? No, no, th those I'll be trying in the spring. Okay. Yeah, it was too late for me to. It would be too late for me to grow them this year. Well, I thought you said you was going to just try one or two. Oh yeah, I, I'm going to, but I'm waiting until I I got to get back to finishing that greenhouse before I do. So, so I got something to set it out in the winter and get more sunshine. We don't get a whole lot of sun inside our house. Okay. So, I, you know, I, I do want to try it. I, I'll start it inside, you know, like this winter. I'll start, start it in the house, but then I want to be able to move it for the rest of the winter out in the greenhouse and see what I can do with it. Yeah, it's not very bright, sunny where you're at right now. No. No, it's a, it's a cloudy day. But I'm, you know, it's it's an it's objection of the lighting. You know, if I take you on out here, you know, it's... It's a lot lighter out here. The direction of the where, where where I where I put myself, which are, the lights coming this way here, this way here, the lights to my back, so it puts a shadow on my face. But it's raining out there, <laughs> and I got my screen wet. Okay, digital is in the UK. Cold there. Well, it's. It's 77 here right now. Somebody up there was saying it's 90 degrees where they're at. Wow.
By the way, this would not have happened to you today, Kim. There's one person in chat you can ultimately blame for this. Bobby McNutt. That's right, because he's the one that announced it in his live chat that you were live and that it was all going over here. So he sent that troll to you. It's his fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I'll tell you what. I bet I had some views right, right here today. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad I was having to be sitting right there because I just got back to not too long beforehand from hunting. And uh, let's see, Rosanna, it's it's right at 50 degrees here, Rosanna, and a real light rain. Okay, we're, we're not getting any rain. Let's see. Let's see what the computer says. That's right. Yeah. 65 and hazy here now. And we're supposed to have rain tomorrow, 46 per let's see. Yeah, 46 percent. We'll see with the rain. There's a lot of rain over at Pennsylvania. <coughs> So, Rosanna, have you been having trouble with Marie? I've never had any trouble with her, but I'm aware of some of the stuff that she's pulled. Well, she put in the comment, okay, that that answered that, Rosanna. See, because I know you didn't do anything. Oh, fat boy, are you back in Tennessee? I didn't know you left. <laughs> Just don't take a wrench away. <laughs> yeah. I did that a long time ago. She got highly upset about that. I don't think she's ever had a wrench on my channel. The fruit, and we'll come back like that. Okay. I can grab my speaker. I'll see her. It has a lot of subscribers. She's a violinist. Well, hello, Brian. One, two, three, four, five, eight. Hey, Brian. Good evening, Brian. Oh, man, I should get going here, but my bones are getting chilled. I don't even know. I might not even go out tonight. Let's see. It's 1 o'clock for you. Yeah. It's getting pretty late. Well, they move it about this time, don't they? Yeah, they, they do briefly move around about this time of day for, for like a half hour period of time. Then you'll start seeing them again, but... If I go on out, it'll be an hour or so before dark. Just a second. Let me grab my plug Rachel, here. Tennessee.
No kidding, Bobby McNutt. He might as well drink if he's not going out. Bobby McNutt, I've got some uh, blueberry cider that I picked up from the Amish store. And I put the sugar and yeast to it around the 1st of October. The 1st of November, I'm going to crack her open and see. Um, Brian, uh, your computer is great. But when I was down in Pigeon Forge at the hotel, the internet would fall out, and that gave me a tr uh, that gave me problems. So, as of the computer, I love it. But I won't I won't use it so much here at home because I'll use my desktop. If it's a pretty day, I've thought about going outside and doing a live stream with it like outside like Grizz does. Well, does yeast go bad? Because the yeast, yeast I had, it said it expired in September. And it's it's been in the drawer in there in a, it has a, music, a it has temperature, here. so it shouldn't have run it. Yeah. But if I ever do it again, I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna get some new. Okay, Grace is back. Does yeast go bad? Does yeast go bad? I yeah. I I I would have to ask my wife. I think I remember her saying that it kind of loses its strength. Why? Yeast does it go bad? No, I never had it. Yeast keep in the refrigerator. But does it lose its strength or no, anything? No, I've never had it lose its strength. Oh, okay. Well, but everybody's still okay. well, then it's still good. Now the yeast that I didn't have, I that I used, it had been open, but I folded it over and put a clothes pin on it. So I don't know. Okay, Rosanna says it does get weak. She keeps hers in the freezer. I kept it in the refrigerator and it's not bad. <laughs> or just pour it in. Just put a little extra in. I just poured it in. I just oh. poured it in. Bobby. Oh. And they say it's good for your toilet. Or yeah. a natural um yeah you want to if you want to permit your 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 holding tank outside put some yeast in it somebody told me that it, it get it some bubbling activity going and <laughs> keeps your thing from going down your toilet but i i did it just like uh, they do the the wine uh let's see what it tastes like it's it's liquid. If it don't taste seem good, I'll pour it down sink. Yeah. And by the way, I don't think it'd work on the septic system because I don't think it's warm enough to activate the yeast. I've done it in the summertime and it's worked. You don't know what if it's worked on the toilet or not. Because it didn't smell the toilet. Wasn't smelling. And acting up and I, I don't know how the toilet smell anyway. It was so the only reason why the toilet would stink is if you don't flush it. I do. It's already flushed. It. It's already flushed. It eats the stuff off the toilet. Okay. It did. I saw it. Okay. It does work. I was told that it's a natural for your natural. Um, yeah, you can drink yeast, you know, uh, if you want, Dave, but I'll tell you what, it'll clean you out pretty good. <laughs> <Get raw. laughs> no kidding, Brian. 
<laughs> That's what I was thinking. I heard, they say if no, the toilet heard, smells, you gotta clean it. <laughs> you clean it. That's not what I meant. It breaks down the septic. They say clean up your body. Yeah. I forty. It's below. I thought so too. It make your body below. <laughs> Well, maybe that's why all the alcoholics have, have a bloated stomach. Mm. Yeah, I just don't see how the toilet would have more, would be warm, or the holding tank would be warm enough to activate the yeast for it to do anything. But when you use your But, stomach, I mean, maybe, I don't know much about it. That's what I was told at the Costco. Somebody, somebody was asking about septic tank. And some customer said, Ours well, is skinny, so. I use. Well, Dave, you're more than welcome to try it after the tank is fermented. I, I ain't willing to try it. <laughs> I don't have to. They said that the natric septic system. Yeah. And a couple things. Mm -hmm. You've never had a problem. Okay, yeah, but the ground is the temperatures are like what fifty? Yeah. You know and it's cooler. Yeah. Now I don't know the, uh, uh, he said oh actually he said a lower temperature. Well Rosanna, no more expensive than yeast is. I mean, what would it hurt to try it? They usually come in three in a pack. I just take one pack and pour it in there. My, my wife gets her yeast in a bottle. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's cheaper that way if you're going to use a lot. Okay. How many acres, Mark? But the thing of it is, if you put it in your septic tank, I'm sure it's going to help. Well, you know the difference. The body's a lot of heat. That you can afford. Okay. <laughs> Well, in the wine, the sugar is to activate the yeast. And I don't know how it's going to do in this cider. It says that yeast here, 40 to, well, 40 to 54 degrees will, uh, will work. Huh. Learn something new, so I don't see why it wouldn't work in the septic system. I would think that if you did like Bobby said and, and uh, activate it with hot water first or warm water first, you know, and, and instead of just dumping the yeast in there, you know, put the yeast in the uh, in in a gallon jug of warm water first and get it activated, and then dump it down and flush it. I would think it would be better. Not yet, Brian, I haven't. I still have some left over from other stuff, so I haven't dipped into the new stuff yet. So did you do a different 
recipe or something? No, I, I did my same recipe. Okay. Well, how's come it won't burn? Not a not high enough alcohol content. It's got to be like, it's got to be like 180 proof to burn or 190 or something like that. Right. I'll have one piece. I don't want to. You put by you. Okay. Yeah, it's got to be like 180, 190, somewhere around there. I don't know what it's got to be to burn. And I, I'm i not good enough to get that, that amount of alcohol out of it. Yeah, but do you really want it that high? Only if I was going to dilute it with something. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I tried to light that the Grizz gave me. It won't burn. No. <laughs> now, I wanted it because you gave it to me. I still have it. I I personally don't like the taste of it. But boy, that buddy of mine, Ken, he said, how would I get a joke of that? <laughs> That's one of a kind for us here. Because I, I wouldn't try to ship it. No. But now see that that I bought for you, I had it shipped direct. But that was from a place that paid the taxes and all that, everything to take care of on the up and oh, up. Yeah. yeah. Well, Brian, I don't want to get rid of it. How long will it last, Drizz? I don't think. A long time. <laughs> a long time. Okay, so that answered my question. I'm going to keep it. Every once in a while, I think I'm mad enough to try it again. I sit on it. Especially if you keep it out of light. Yeah, it's dark. I put it in a cabinet out there in the garage. So it shouldn't freeze. No. No, it won't freeze. You can put it in the freezer. In a bag. Mm -hmm. Or in the refrigerator. No, Tim? I mean, no. Just a second. Brian, that's actually um, not true. It will actually taste exactly the same the day that you brew it as it will 80 or 100 years from now or whatever. With the aging part, the aging stops when you take it out of the barrel. They have, they have wooden barrels, oak barrels that they age it in. And, uh, you know, like if it's when they say it's been aged 10 years, that that age uh, ten years is in the barrel. Then once once they take it out of the barrel, the aging process stops that outside of it. It has to be in contact with that wood for the for the aging process to be there. And I'm not to that point yet. I'd like to try doing that. I I want to make some oak barrels and uh, and try that one of these days. Make a make it like a five gallon little barrel and, and try aging something for in fifteen years maybe. Grizz, one time when I was working at the lumber yard, my boss bought a whole trailer full of whole uh, whiskey barrel. Okay, so we unloaded them, stacked them out there by the building. I am not happy. And we we cut them in half as people come in and wanted them cut in half where they could buy the whole barrel. Mm -hmm. Well, we discovered that there was liquid in them. So 
So we got a pair of tall horses and we beat the bung in and poured them in, caught it in a bear in a little gallon bucket we had. And we took them up there in the shop and took Mr. Coffee Makers filters and filter them. And at the time we had eleven gallon of uh Bourbon whiskey come out in barrels. Oh wow! Oh, and that shit would get you drunk. Oh my god! Uh, oh yeah. If you normally took regular alcohol and say put three fingers deep and filled it up with pop, you would put maybe one or a half a finger of this, the same amount of pop. And it would knock you on your hind end. Oh man! I mean, I, it was it was something. Um, you know, Brian. Now, when it comes to wine, I don't know anything about the wine of aging and wine. I do know that when they when you go to aging and bourbon and stuff, it's all in the barrels. And I think it might be the same thing with the wine that it's still in the, kept in the barrels for two hundred years or something. But I don't know anything about winemaking and the aging process or any of that with, with wine. I, you know, it's probably completely different than it is with with, uh, with your bourbons and whiskeys and stuff. Now, our dog makes wine in a five-gallon bucket. Yeah. My heavens. Who's going to drink that much? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got friends well, right I mean, right it takes away the flavor, but I'm not man enough to drink it straight, especially <laughs> that stuff. Oh my God. Well, I got a friend of mine, he makes it in buckets. I mean, he, he takes his, huh? Mm -hmm. Eddie? Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, he makes it in buckets, and, and so does Mr. Ed, too, his dad. Mm -hmm. They, they, well, his dad makes it in 55 gallon barrel drums sometimes. But he he, he, he throws a bunch of food in there, adds the water and yeast and stuff to it. And he lets it sit there and then just starts draining it out the bottle after. Now, Eddie, he does it the fast way. Okay. I mean, I mean he, he's drinking it about a week later. Now, his dad, when he's making it, he won't tap into that barrel for about two or three months. Okay. Yes, Mr. Mock. Jack Daniels is made in a dry county. I've been there. I never, never got no way. Yes, I did like the apple pie and the cherry that we bought for Grizz. It was pretty good, wasn't it, Grizz? Oh, yeah. My favorite is still that apple pie. Yeah. Well, I sent you a picture of a whole rack of that apple pie. Oh, and man. $35 a can, you figure up how much money was sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> you look at your email. Let me take a look at my email again. No, it wasn't too strong. I mean, you could you could drink it straight within reason, Brian. Uh, it seems like I didn't send you an email. Well, I might have sent it when I was down in Tennessee. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. The last email I got from you was on the tenth of September, and it's that one. Is uh, have you ever ever seen something and wondered how it got there and had the ram hanging up on the wire? Yeah. And uh, the cow up on the roof and the car down on the railroad tracks. And well, let me open my email here, and I'll <laughs> look in my sent folder. I can tell you when I sent it. Well, that's the last email I got from you. Okay. You didn't block me, did you? 
No. All right, I'm looking here. Okay, I sent it to you on October the seventeenth. Yeah, I'm not. I this. And it was my Grizzly270 at Hotmail.com? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not showing it here. Well, Grizz270. All right. Maybe he sent it to someone else without the name Grizz. and got the wrong number. <laughs> Okay, I just forwarded that email from my sent code. Okay. Okay, now I just showed up. Going to take a little second for it to load on out. Is it been enough excitement for you, Miss Pam? <laughs> oh man, those pickles look good. Yeah, they look good. So, uh, those are all pickles. Wow. Would you try one of those pickles, Dan? Not if they're alcohol. <laughs> Those are moonshine pickles. Not me. You know, what I tried was only little pieces. <laughs> and here's all the uh, apple pie moonshine. Oh, man. That's the alcohol. That's, that's the stuff I like right there. Mm. And they got enough of that. Sheesh, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it is. Mm. Were they with the recipe? No. <laughs> no. I like rum and coke, but I tell you what, rum does something to my stomach. Yeah. You know, it sounds good, rum and coke, but I never did like it. Oh, I liked it. I, I love drinking it, but I mean, it, it's hard on my stomach. Yeah, Jack Daniels, you want to get the black label. And what the deal is that with the green label, it didn't, it didn't cure it depends on how much it went in the wood and came out because they store the barrels out into it. Un, uh, you know, it's not air conditioner heated and the, the whiskey will go in the wood and come out as temperature changes. And that's what makes the flavor of the whiskey. And then they'll have that and they'll run that through charcoal. If you ever get a chance to go, and I don't know the town, but they'll give you a tur that you can't drink any of it, but you can smell it. Man. I wouldn't want to smell it if I could sample it. Well, you won't get it there. It's a dry county. Yeah. You can't drive anywhere after you've drank it. It's so strong. You have to drink it at home. And you can't buy it there either. I've done. Make it for another camp, camp area. 
And they can't buy it. Yeah, but they have to taste it. So they have to no. drink it because they're tasting it to make it. You don't need gadget, gadgets to make wine and stray, uh, stray you right, but uh, you know, it's best if you do use an air locker or something so the air can't get to it. And you can, a person can make their own air locker. When I've made the wine like uh, Bobby McNutt and doing a cheap Bob, I just open the lid. Mm -hmm. But I leave it set there. Yeah, that works. It's still it's best doing an air locker. I mean, that will keep the bugs out, but you know, outside air with with spores of the air that's in the air can can, can contaminate your wine. Well, I'm sure glad. And and Roy said something about this when I was talking to Ann. If I'd have been down there pigeon forging, they would have called my number and sent the police here. I wouldn't have been here to intervene. <laughs> wow. Well, And cops showed up. What did they do there? Well, they just came and asked me. He called the cops and told them beforehand. So, uh -huh. so he didn't get, they didn't come and forth like they did at Rex. They just come and talk to him. Oh, on YouTube, they need to be watching. The computer, they need to be watching. Will that backfire on the guy that's doing it? Oh, well, they're, they're watching. It. They're, they're going to catch the guy. I hope they raid him. They're, they're working on it. And bring him to jail, prison. Okay. That should be a federal offense. Well, uh, Brian, Kim just got the cops called on him before you came on here. Yeah. And Big Steve had the cops come on, call him. That was about three or four days ago. Tequila. Well, Tim's world, if you get a chance, you say you're not a drinker. Try that coffee tequila. We keep that in the freezer. It, it doesn't freeze, but it's good and cold. <laughs> the only time a condom should have a hole in it. <laughs> well, they just took uh, my information out, Brian. Well, that's right. Megan Fox got called it hammered, too. Really? Yeah, and she was drunk. Dave. Oh, no. As usual. <laughs> Mm -hmm. get away from that. So when they did Rick, was, did they come in there with sirens going and everything? No, there was no sirens going. I mean, um, I could we couldn't even see the lights flash. I don't even think they had the lights flashing or nothing. But I guess he has a big long driveway. He could see them coming, so he knew they were coming. You know, it's um, yeah. I mean, he was sitting on out in the front porch when they came with stuff. But he said there was like 30 or 35 cops that, that all come swarming on in. Wow. That should be a federal thing. Brian, I think it's actually somebody just being stupid. It's a young kid seeking attention that doesn't have a, doesn't have good parental uh, upbringing. We don't know that. The adult knows what they're doing. Person 
I mean, I can't, I just can't, I can't envision an adult doing something as childish as this. I mean, what enjoyment is there that's out of it? You know, I mean, that's, uh, maybe they enjoy it. Make some yeah, but, but I, I just don't see it with an adult. So if it is an adult, they have it's a, they, they're, they're mentally disturbed. Well, they called that number and it was a landline. But he's using a, a deal to uh, transfer to show somebody else's number. Yeah. And, uh, and and Brian, the the way they got Kim, well Kim's Kim's name's right there on screen. You know his channel name, so that's how they get it on him. Um, I don't know how they got Picker Rick, but then Bobby McNutt. You know, I mean, someone somebody said they're they're getting a um, they they find your Facebook account, they can get the information off of it. You know. Um, Yeah, the cop asked me, he said, well, why are you posting your phone number? It don't take no rocket scientist to get it. Yeah, once they got your phone number, Sandra, then it's pretty not too difficult to get the address. Personally, I mean, it's not that I'm going to put my information on out there for them to, to make it easier for them, to, but, but I think it would be funny if the cops showed up here. Just because you said that, they won't. <laughs> I mean, it won't bother me if they show up, but it's not going to be a big deal, you know? They know me pretty well. <laughs> we, we have a good, we, our sheriff's department's really good. Her. So it won't it won't even be entertaining. Won't be entertaining. They know your daughter already. Hi, Ollie. <laughs> Hello, Ollie. Hello. Uh, Brian, uh, you know, it's, I don't want them to show up, but if they do, <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fret over it. And another way that they're they're getting information, Brian, is if you if you have a YouTube channel. I showed this already on live stream that, that you know on a, on another channel. Uh, what they're doing is they're sending you an email saying that you have spam on your account. That if you don't <coughs> that if you don't take care of the spam on your YouTube channel, they're going to close your channel in 24 hours. Click this link here to resolve it, and then it takes you to their to a Google page, and then you're supposed to type in your email address and your password to sign the audience so you can take care of the spam that's on your account. Except for that page is not really a Google account. It's their deal where they can where they can uh, you're you're giving you're giving them the information that they want. You know you're giving them passwords to to your to your to your Google account. Once they have that, there's all sorts of information they can get from you. Well, I just Googled my name, and it, it was right there. Well, I had to do a little searching, but it showed my age, my name, my ex-wife, Pam's name. It showed all that. Yeah. And all I did was Google it.
why why would the cop be afraid to be seen on the camera? Um, uh, I don't know. Good question. He said, where's the camera? I don't want to be seen on it. I said, you can. Unless you go in there and sit down. <laughs> what? What side talk? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Stray. They only went to Rick because he ate all the donuts. There you go. Yeah, they, they hit him hard over them donuts. <laughs> yeah, they sent two people down here. Even after I called them. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, that, those look sharp. What is it? These are some uh, bowls that, that uh, Mr. Jekyll and Hyde crafted. Wow, those are so beautiful. Here, Kim, I'm going to do a, well, just a second, let my daughter look at it. I'm going to do a live stream, show, show these bowls. A screen share? Yeah, I wanted to do a screen share. Just a second, though. I liked it. I liked those ones. That was a good job. Let's see here. You're almost in the box. Okay, do I have to do something? Accept it or something? Yeah, you'll have to bring it up just like you brought me on up. And hopefully that will show it. Tell me if, you, if, if you're seeing the bowls here. Not yet. Not seeing them? Not yet. Do you see down in the lower window where you brought me up? You clicked on me to bring me on up to be on the panel? Yeah, I, I'm looking there. Uh, let's see here. Okay, just a second here. That, there, right there. Is it showing the bulbs? Uh, it's showing a chat. Okay, just a second here, then. Let me. Uh, I want to. I want to restart this. I clicked on the wrong deal here. Okay, my entire screen. Share. And then I got to bring it on up here. Okay, now I should show. Okay. Now. Yeah. This one I always wanted to try the lathe at school, but all the other kids got it before I could get it, so. Now, are these two here? Are these both black walnut? And what kind of wood is this here? The center one? I'm not for sure. And this one over here, I think is cherry. I see he lost his two feet of snow. <laughs> That's some beautiful stuff there.
Okay, I wasn't sure if it was maple. It, was, it, it must have the, the color of the finish on it made it a little bit darker. So I thought it might have been maple, but I wasn't sure. Far right is cherry. Okay, so I thought the far right was cherry and, and the and the two were black walnut. And... Gorgeous. Yeah, they were. <laughs> well, if the cops show up here, Brian, what my intentions are, I'll have the uh, most likely I'll be outside. Usually I am anyway. But I, I'm going to mute audio, but I won't be muting mic. You know, I mean, you'll be able to hear everything that we say. But But if there's somebody on the panel, nobody will, you know. They'll be able to talk away, and we won't be able to hear them. Oh, cool. Ben Sawmill sent that to the wood to him. Cool. So you need to get in some hobbies like that there, Kim. What's that? Uh, running away. Well, I don't. I don't have no good place to have it. <clears throat> I like it the way it is right now. I do what I want. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you one thing. I'll mark Pigeon Forge off of the list. I like the area, but oh my God, it's just totally out of control. I would think that would do it, Allie. Allie, go to the sporting goods store, <laughs> like Cabela's, and ask them for a can of bear spray. Okay, Rosanna, thank you very much for being on here. What kind of spray? Roach spray? Bear. Bear spray. Mm-hmm. I doubt if we'd have that in in our area. <laughs> I'm sure you can order it online, though. What do you want that for? <laughs> for protection. They use a basket to protect themselves from grizzly bear, so they don't have to shoot it. You spray the bear with bear spray, and the backs them off. Never heard of it. Bear spray. Bear spray. Where? Oh, it's not on here. You know, I can Google it later for you, but what was it? It's it's uh, you spray it in their face, and it will send anything running. Oh. Go to the commercial and somebody sprayed, sprayed on themselves. Okay, if you had people coming up here and they accidentally got sprayed by that being where they shouldn't both be. <laughs> Actually, Sandra, I think you can. It'd be awful if somebody was on the property and that happened. Well, yeah, you can by, well, there are certain areas where you can't, tasers aren't legal, but most places you can have a taser. <laughs> My sister-in-law had one. I don't know if she's ever used it, but. $33. 
And if you don't use it right away, it'll probably go bad. <laughs> That's not good. <clears throat> yeah, that'd be kind of expensive to use then. Well, that's the way it deals. You hope you don't ever have to use it. Well, I'll tell you what. If you could capture, you know, I think that if you took these Carolina Reapers and you put it in a juicer, like a steam juicer, and you cook that down to where you got the liquid. Now, you'll definitely, if you do this, you'll definitely want to do it outdoors. You would not want to do it in the house. Because, but you, because it, it will have your house smell like tear gas. You won't be able to, you wouldn't be able to breathe in your house. Steve but you take some Carolina Reapers and ju juice those Carolina Reapers. Then you put that stuff in a squirt gun. The juice that you get from it. I'll bet you that's going to be as good as any bear spray that you can get. Matter of fact, I might try that with these Carolina Reapers. Now, now you're going to make it where I can't get it off the steamer. Yeah. 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 I'll figure out something on that. Maybe we'll have to just get another steamer for this. The but I, I'll tell dollars. you what. Get, get that, put it in a squirt gun and stuff and sell that stuff. A pepper spray. <laughs> well, yeah, you get that and somebody got it. <laughs> A better one that doesn't escape all the stuff out of it. Because you need, we need one that doesn't escape all the juice and the steam. Yeah. You know, you sit down. Yeah, 357 for intruders works pretty good, I would say. <laughs> wow. Allie was only having a Tupperware party. Love you, Mama. Man. Oh, I gotta step back outside for a minute. Hey, you're not going outside. Not Three fifty seven Magnum. That's right, Robert. Oh, you don't even need a gun. We we had the cops come up here one time when my nephews, my brothers and stuff were all on out here. A bunch of us out here with the AK forty sevens and the AR fifteens and M sixteens and we were there with a heyday blasting those suckers off out here. The cops all come driving on up here about yeah, about three rigs. And they ended up shooting the guns with us. <laughs> ended up being a good time. <clears throat> well, one thing about it, Grizz, I got up to like 25 views or, or people watching at one time. Well, they, they did you a favor getting you getting swatted there. <laughs> yeah, but hey, dude, if uh, the one that called the cops and Kim, if you're still here listening, we want to thank you for uh bringing subscribers here and and making this a good live stream. We, we owe you a uh. uh a bit of gratitude for that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. I'm sorry that the cops didn't that had to waste their time. They pulled up here and blocked the street. Both cop cars blocked the street. When was this? When the cops came, there was two oh, cops. Really? They turned the corner and parked side by side and blocked Maple Street. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Bobby McNutt.
it was quite a deal, Brian. <laughs> Of course, you couldn't see it on here because I had to mute the mic. And the cop was worried about getting seen. And he said, well, can they hear us? No, I it, Brian. Well, it, it wasn't exciting at all, you know, on this end. Yeah, I know. But it was quite going on here. I don't worry about it. <clears throat> well, he just didn't want to be heard on YouTube. You know, the, the, the deal is, Brian, and I understand certain places I'd want to report the cops regardless, but you know what? In the area, it's like where I live here. If the cop asked me not to record him, I, I, would, I would respect that. Merely for the fact that when a cop comes here, they're pretty good cops and they're not going to be doing anything that's questionable. Um, if I felt like I needed it to protect myself from the cops here that we had here locally, then hell yeah, I'd record it no matter what they wanted. But, you know, if they come on onto my place on a false report like that there and they, they come up and they're cordial and they're, they're not trying to take this out of, out of context and stuff. You know, if they asked me to turn the camera off, I'd turn it off for them. Yeah. You know, it, uh, you know, because it's it's uh, it's on a friendly note. I I don't have anything to protect. And you just want to question, you know. Now, for any other reason, you know, if the cops come on up here with the, you know, threaten me and stuff. That you, if if that all happens, y'all are going to see it because the the camera will be pointed at them. But as soon as you know, as soon as everything's calmed down, they ask me to turn the camera off. Hey, it's all over with. I'll turn it off for them. But I, uh, I invited them in so they could see there was nothing going on. Mm -hmm. so when they called the police, I didn't know what they said. You know. <coughs> yeah. And Pam was standing right there. <laughs> she come in here. She said, "What's going on?" <laughs> Yeah, I got a troll. Okay, I, I think, bye. I think, I think it's important for us to work with the law. Oh yeah, as best that we can, regardless of what our rights are. We we know, need to know our rights and use the rights when they're needed. But we also are in, in a partnership program with the cops. Realistically, you know, and and uh, I want to keep that partnership program going with the cops. There you go. Well, Brian, that troll called the police and said that there was a hostile situation here at my house. Yeah, and you know, I mean, you can't blame the cops for them come storming up to your house when they're when they're reported that. And you got holding fam of people at at gunpoint and it's a hostage situation. You can't blame the cops for coming on in, you know, saying, "Oh, at, you know, uh, a search warrant already." There's already probable cause until until the probable cause is calmed down. And usually, the cops can read initially as soon as they get up there, and you're you're all cordial with them. You know, then it usually comes right on down. Well, Rick had a different scenario. He had his ex-wife there at the house, and I think she just magnified the problem. Wow. So she just comes over once in a while. According to Rick, she was there. To, she'd just come on over to get some more of her stuff that was there. She, you know.
uh, no man hitting digital I, I can see why, you know, I, I got to say this. I, I have to say this. I can see why Rick was yelling at the cops. Please don't wake up my wife. She's in the house sleeping. Please don't wake her up. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Please don't wake her up. She'll be upset. Please don't wake her up. <laughs> it, I mean, looking at it now, it, I can laugh at it all in hindsight because, man, when she came on uh, out, she was a mad bear. I tell you what, I mean, she, she was yelling and screaming at Sherry and, you know, I mean, telling her she didn't give a fuck what Sherry had to say or anything else, you know? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, she, she was, oh, man, she was something else. It was funny. <laughs> well, there's Ron. Hello. Yep, yep, he said. Yeah, don't wake the bear. That's right, Sandra. <laughs> hey, Ron. Oh wow! Yeah, Ron, she was being, she was being as vindictive as she could, and I, she she had the opportunity, and she was making full use of it. Oh no! Well. See, it's a good thing that I wasn't live streaming down in Pigeon Forge when this happened. That would have been hard to explain over the phone. Well, you know what? You know, I mean, if you are at home and, and they come on over there banging at the door, nobody answers, and there's a report of it there, they might have just busted in. You might have had a mask coming in too. Yeah, I know. And they'd had two doors to break through to get into the house if they went to the front door. Oh, yeah, they could do it. Mm -hmm. Well, this okay, is where I will. I'm sure that this kid, I'm sure this kid is living at home with mommy still. And I'm sure that the mommy is on food stamps. And that's where I believe that, that you know what, when something like that happens, I believe that, that, that they should go after the money and take their food stamps away and give it to the person to pay restitution for the crime that they committed. But the uh, 911 operator, she was really good about it. You know, what's your name? What's your emergency? No emergency. Okay. Yeah, Robert, you're probably right. <laughs> Stop profiling. <laughs> yeah, I'm profiling. So the uh, private chat, the first message you sent me, do you think that's who it is? I believe so. Okay. I don't, I really don't know. Well, you know, the cops asked me, he said, who do you think's doing it? I have no idea. Bobby would be the one to ask, uh, to answer that question. Um, well, he gave me this number. One. He gave me this number to have them call to ask his police department. Mm -hmm. And I would definitely, you know, make that note. And you know what? By the way, you had to get your, give your police department's number to Bobby 
so so he can so he can tell his police officer to to get in contact with them too. I mean, it doesn't have to be a one way deal. Um, yeah, but I don't have a number. Pam come in here and was telling me that she answered that phone. I said, no, I, Let's see what your number is. I just called nine one one. So then I asked the cop, and he said, "That's what you need to do. Call nine one one. If you have a problem, this comes back to haunt you. Call nine one one. We okay. got all this recorded. You can, you can get your local police department or the, the law enforcement. They came on out. You can get their out their, They have a they have a business hour number that you can contact too. Yeah, but they're telling you." Not to call that number, just call nine one one. For that, for for what you're happening here, but I'm talking about to give to Bobby to take to his police department so he can contact, so they can contact them and try to exchange information. Okay. When I had that wreck, where that guy backed into me out there at the garage. Yeah. I did the same thing. I told Pam to call. And she tried to call, and they said to call 911. So that's all you can do here. If you oh, need wow. to call, you call 911. It's stupid, but that's the way they told us to do it. Oh, wow. Well, maybe maybe at least if you can give them the name of the town, the police department itself without a number, give, a, give the, town, the, the town on their address. Maybe they can be contact somehow that way. I, I don't know what the best scenario is. Well, I've, I've got that number. I got that whole message that you posted, uh, Bobby. I, I copied and pasted it and printed it off. I can't show you that I did it because I got Grizz's number right below it. And I don't want to show that. But anyhow, I've got it here. Trust me. Brian, we only, I can only suspect who it is, and, and you know, I don't want to throw out any names. I've, if, if Bobby wants to throw out the names, I, I had no problem with it, but I can only say who I suspect it is, and my what I suspect doesn't carry much weight. Yeah, turn it around. I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, you can't see that, can you? <clears throat> yeah, let's see here. So if anybody wants to call me here, I'll put my phone number on out here. And and Rick will be, I mean, uh, Kim will be able to verify this is my number. I don't mind because this phone's getting cut off in a few more days. <laughs> Yep, that's his number for now. <laughs> I had to open up my phone to look at it. <laughs> yeah, Brian, it, it is. Yeah, but uh, that cop was asking me, he said, why are you posting your your phone number and your address? You don't understand. You can you can Google my name and come up with a whole ball of wax. I mean. No kidding, Brian. 
when Grizz comes up, I don't even trust it to be him, especially <laughs> when he comes up with Bobby McNutt. <laughs> McNum nuts. <laughs> I wonder if Cop realized that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, cops know that when people like to have fun. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you, I want you to explain that or not. Somebody, what did Dave remember that one? Oh, somebody did call, huh? Let's <laughs> uh, see here. Now, should I give the last number that called? <laughs> somebody, somebody did try to call. What me? The area code is seven four zero. Yeah, if somebody doesn't identify who it is, I'm going to hit block. Well, I know who just sent me a text, <laughs> and I won't block that person. And by the way, I'm not sure what it is, but I'm going to hide the, the, the number so you can't see this number. Let's see here. Can I get it on screen? Eh. Let's see here. Uh, yeah. What is it? Can y'all tell what that is? No. I can't it, tell what that is. It won't let you make it big like it used to. It's some type of rock cookies. Yeah, I, I know, Ali. I know. That's why I said. That's why I had my finger covering the, covering the, uh, the phone number so that wouldn't show on there. I, I see that because it showed up with a list of it. <laughs> so what is that, Ali? It's some type of a. Uh, looks like a rock cookie dessert. Something that wasn't baked. Yes, yeah, probably tofu. <laughs> Oh, I'm not answering this. <laughs> I don't know who it is. I don't know who that number is, so I'm not answering it. No, nope. Because then they, you know, I don't know if they can trace the after you answer the phone if they can trace the location. Oh, oh, that was, you sent the eyeballs, okay. Well, I've seen that too. But I thought, I thought that was all one picture. That must have been from last time you sent me the picture. Yeah, that was, that was back in, you sent that back in July, Allie. The eyeballs is what you said, that you just showed just now. Brian said, you gave us your number, 
and now you won't answer it. <laughs> well, if, I knew, if somebody laid claims that they was uh, that they was calling it, I'd I'd answer it. But I don't know if the if the troll guy's back here, and I'm just not going to answer. I you know I yeah I already ha heard his calls and I want to kill you, Bobby. I've, I've heard all that stuff, and I'm just you know that's not going to entertain me right now. <laughs> Okay, somebody's got to tell me who's calling. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll do, Bobby. Okay, Bobby. <laughs> you there? A stupid faggot grizzly boy. <laughs> no, that wasn't you, Bobby, that just called. Let's see here. Where's the, lock the number. There we go. That's taken care of. <clears throat> Until they change the number. <laughs> well, they ain't getting my new number. <laughs> oh, well, no. And I sure won't give it out. Well, Bobby told me to answer the phone, answer his phone call. So I said, oh, okay, so I wouldn't answer it. It was the it was the uh the sissy boy. <clears throat> I'm sure he's been listening this whole time. Oh yeah, we know he's listening. <clears throat> and that just makes me money. Yeah, it's giving you watch time. Give me watch time, giving me views. Mm-hmm. Well, answer your damn question. I thought I thought you'd say, "Okay, I didn't see your question." He said he wanted to know if the number ended in uh, three five three zero. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, let me see what it ended with. <laughs> it costs five bucks a minute, huh? He said, answer me. So I said, oh, that's Bobby calling. <laughs> I didn't see his question. <laughs> hey, JD, how's it going? Well, good evening, JD. I'll be right back. Because my battery is low. Nope. 
No, none of them are ending with that number. Oh, wait, uh, four four numbers back it ended with that. So my battery's almost dead. I'm turning it off. I'm down to 10%. Ugh. The guy can try to call me up in the middle of the night. I usually turn my phone on just before I go to bed. And, uh, you know, I just look at it at that time, just just in case my brother's trying to call me through his emergencies. You know, I mean, I keep my phone on. So, you, you know, when I go to bed, I'll be turning it back on. So you can try, try to call me all night long. Oh, I just want to tease them to think that they can call me. <laughs> that's all, Robert. I just, this phone number is getting turned off in a few days. It's like, ah, let them play with it for a few days. <laughs> Uh, Sandra, yes, I'm the one that was talking about Marco Polo. I really like Marco Polo um, in groups. I use it strictly with, with my family members. And it's just like leaving a video, um, a video answering machine is basically like it is, although you can share videos on there, you know, with, with people in the group and stuff. I don't go to that extent. To share the actual videos on there you can share your own personal videos that you make you can you know that like if you have a video on your phone you can share that to them um it's actually pretty cool um because like i got a couple of marco polos from my brother that from my brothers rather that uh you know, I need to sit down one of these evenings or in the morning or something and get caught up. But, I mean, you can watch them at your own time time frame on through. I don't like to live by the phone, put it that way. And this is their way of being able to get a hold of me and leaving me, me a message or I can leave them a message. And it's for everybody in the group that can hear it. And you can have it separated. So, like, you can have just you and your husband on one Marco Polo deal. And you could have you and everybody on YouTube on another in another group. And you can have another group of you and your whole family. You can have several different groups on in there. And there's no advertisements whatsoever showed up on, on Marco Polo. I really like it. If you like, if you do a lot of voice, uh, voice, uh, you know, like, like um, voicemail with family members, especially if you got kids and, and brothers that are living out of state and you don't get to see them on a regular basis, you actually get to listen and see them talking in front of you. So it's, it's kind of nice. So, uh, JD, I haven't heard from you for a while. I've seen Allie on here. How are you? Yes, yeah, Sandra, you do add them by phone numbers. It's all through phone numbers. So, I mean, you don't want to have people in your group that you don't want to share your phone number with. That's where, I mean, I was kind of thinking about keeping this, uh, keeping both phones. So I keep keep one, this one that I just gave out the number. I would have still kept that private and given out my new phone number. And, and, and that one, I could have done the Marco Polo with everybody on YouTube and, you know, just because you can control who's a part of the group, by the way, um, you can block person out of you. You have their admins. That, that's the group just like on, on here. And, and, and you can block the person if somebody's, 
being abusive or whatever, you can still block them. Um, it's a pretty good setup. Okay, Ali, we'll do. Um, Let me see here. Maybe I can just send you an email real quick while I'm thinking of it. Okay, I'm replying back from an email. This is from J. Uh, this is this is probably going to go to JD's email. Sorry to hear that, Allie. How old was she? Just curious. Okay. JD, it was sent to your email address is what popped 56. up. Six. Oh wow. That's young. Oh man, that is young. But the the new phone number just went to JD's, but you guys, I gotta say it again, don't call that number. Continue using the same number as you had before until the 28th. Because anybody that's called me on my new phone, I'm automatically blocking everybody because I hadn't been giving that number out. And the people that I have given out, I tell them, don't call me until because I'm getting tons of spam calls on it. So I'm getting, it's slowing down now. I'm getting really close to having the spam calls all, all wiped out. Well, how many how many numbers can you block? There's no limit. Okay. Now I know on my home phone number, I think we can only block ten. Oh wow! <clears throat> yeah, Ali, I lost my brother this last summer. Hello. I lost my brother. He was a Navy SEAL. And he just passed on this last August. <coughs> no, I may have to take it back off hook. <laughs> it says Bob McNutt, but nobody answered. Yeah, he said he said that if it's calling his name number. Bobby said that he's using his number to, to call people. Okay. Oh, that will keep you awake, Allie. <laughs> yeah, I would like to come up with a deal where you didn't have to do the, the phone numbers on, on something like Marco Polo. Uh, 
Okay. I'll have to undo it again. Yeah, he's got the day off from school. It it will discontinue tomorrow when he's in school. <laughs> Well, I'd discontinue it there. <laughs> That's right, Brian. Worthless kids and their parents. Take their food stamps away. <laughs> yeah, they're not calling you right now, Bobby. My phone has no connection of any. What do you mean, no connection? There isn't anything you go into. There's no connection. I was going to ask um, Google something, and it says no connection. I go into anything. There's no, my phone's not working. I have nothing. Somebody's done something to my phone. Oh, wait a second here. Somehow you went to emergency calls only. I didn't go in there. I never did. Huh. Well, hold on. Calm down. Calm, calm down. It's not the end of the world. Let's see here. I don't even touch the emergency thing. I never touched any of those buttons. Well, I'll tell you what, Bobby McNutt. You, you have made it interesting for sure. I never went into anything on my phone. I don't even touch those buttons. My phone shut down. Snickles, get in here. Get in here, your mom. Come on, go get your mommy. Go get mommy. Huh. <laughs> I can't even use my phone anymore. Everything's locked out. It sure appears that way. Restart it. Good idea. Let's try that. I never touched anything, so I don't know why it did that. Well, maybe T Mobile's pissed off at us because I told them to disconnect our phone and they said it'd be turned off in the 28th. Not early. <laughs> well. They never came out here and helped like they said they were. Yeah, okay, don't worry about it. This is on a bitch fest, Dan. They don't want to hear you whining and crying over there about your phone. Okay. <laughs> Did that work when you restarted it? I, it's rebooting. <laughs> oh, Bobby's feeling, feeling uh, was being fe felt left out. Now he's got his attention. He was seeking. <laughs> he feels better now.
<laughs> hey, believe me, Ali, she vents plenty enough already. Well, Pam, she said, that's, that just got me worried to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would. Did it fire back up yet, Chris? Yeah, it's back up, and uh, it still says no service. No internet. Let's see here. Go back and study. Maybe they shut it off early. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't care. Well, I don't see why they'd shut it off early. It might be the problem with the towers. I don't know. Well, there's a lot earlier today, and it worked. Okay. I don't know what to tell you, hon. It's just not working now. Let me see it, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> see it? <laughs> I I got I got a tool out there in the garage to fix that. <laughs> Old beam hammer. Yeah, let me check mine right now because the first isn't working. Mine should be off too. Uh, Allie, I didn't get to see him because he had changed his phone number and I couldn't get a hold of him. I've got his phone number now, but it's too late. I'm I'm eight hours away. You know he changed his number just to just so you couldn't see it. Call him. <laughs> no. No, because he gave me his number. Yeah, but now it's too late. Now he knows you're not coming back. He'll change it again next time you make another trip. <laughs> he didn't know I was coming. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I I never dreamed of him changing his phone number. And, you know, I could have sent him an email. I just assumed, you know, he didn't want to be bothered. So I tried to call him several times on the way down. And once we got there, I quit calling him. Okay, my phone is called. So, so, so somebody try to call my phone number now. Because it's saying I have no service too now. Well, you're still on live stream. No, well, no, I'm, I'm on my other phone though. Oh, okay. The other phone, I'm using it for internet. This. Yes, I had both of them numbers also, Allie. And he didn't answer either one of them. Yeah, I doubt if the person could even call me now. <laughs> Is it because you blocked a number? No. No, it's not because I blocked the number. It might, it might have been, they told me it would be ended on the 28th, but I might have misread that wrong. Well, you wouldn't think they'd do it on a Sunday. Uh, 
I want to text Dally to see if this is working. Nope. Yeah, I say no service. That's all right. I already got the other phones. So, Allie, you were the last person to be able to text me on my phone before they disconnected it. <laughs> so, anybody that wants to try calling that number now, that 541 360 9334, call all you want. <laughs> Okay, Grace, I'm just going to call it for curiosity. Okay. If it comes through, I'll shut it off. Allie said it went to voicemail. We'll see what it does. Yep. It went to voicemail. <laughs> yeah, they disconnected it early. That's fine with me. <laughs> yeah, a lot right, Allie. You're gonna talk dirty, uh huh? <laughs> well, keep them busy, Bobby. <laughs> keep them busy. No kidding. <laughs> well, Grizz, let me end the live stream. Okay. I, I got a message from you. Okay, yeah. Something. So stay on here. Uh, everybody on the chat, thank you so much. And you little shithead, <laughs> thank you for drumming up my business. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, shithead. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs>